July 4th weekend brings some of the biggest crowds of the year to our area, especially to the beaches. Our Tyler Mannion joins us now live from the beach on Hilton Head Island. Tyler, you spoke with safety leaders about what they hope people will do this weekend to stay safe. What did they tell you? What are some tips? Don, the biggest one safety leaders out here on Hilton Head Island are focusing on right now is hydration. I spoke with the directors of Beach Patrol and Public Safety for the island and both emphasizing that water is your best friend if you're out here on the beach this weekend. Actually, specifically that public safety director emphasizing that water is incredibly different than alcohol as alcohol actually dehydrates you and is illegal on the beaches of Hilton Head. Public safety director named Bob Bromage letting me know that you should expect to see a consistent code enforcement presence throughout the weekend on these beaches. As he says, the crowds and their efforts to control them are only increasing for this holiday. May through August, uh, obviously, we see a huge uh, increase in our population on Hilton Head. A lot of visitors, a uh, lot of people visiting our beaches, which are pristine, and we want to keep them that way. So we have seen an increase in code enforcement activity, especially when it comes to alcohol violations between May and June. He says for those alcohol violations, the town typically takes an educational approach using those official citations if necessary. Now, with all of this being said, of course, leaders want you to have a good time if you're out here this weekend. And after all, it is the 4th of July weekend, and they say that comes just with the condition that you be smart and you be safe. We're reporting live on Hilton Head Island. Tyler Mannion, WTOC News.